A highlight of our time in Galapagos was a four-day cruise and a six-day land excursion on Ada Maria for a total of 10 days. We booked it last minute and saved a lot of money. The cruise alone was selling online for around $1,800 per person. We booked our 10-day trip for less than $1,000 per person. The Ada Maria sleeps 16 passengers and there were only 10 of us, so we had plenty of room to lounge around. Wow, so peaceful and pretty. Unbelievable. Our first stop was Floriana Island. After a delicious breakfast, we headed out to the island to see lots of sea lions. The exciting part about Floriana is the post office. The oldest post office, we were able to leave postcards for others to pick up and send to our loved ones, and we picked up some as well. Next up, we were able to explore a cave. Galapagos Caves. Can you guess who is the brave soul that went swimming? Henry. Later that day, we went snorkeling and met some aquatic friends. Good to know we have a boat waiting for us on the other side. Does anyone want to guess what that looks like? You might be thinking sea turtles, but here are sea turtles. But these are stingrays. Our next stop was Española Island. So the marine iguana is the only lizard in the world with the ability to live and forage at sea and is endemic to the Galapagos area. There are six very similar subspecies, each from different islands, with those from Isabella and Fernandina being the largest. The adults are black for most of the year, however the males change color during the mating season, with different subspecies adopting different colorations. On Santa Cruz, they are red and black. On Fernandina, they become dull green and brick red. And on Española, they are mostly colorful, turning bright green and red. This has led to the Española marine iguanas earning the nickname Christmas Iguana. There is so much wildlife everywhere, 
But the kids still found time to read the dictionary, read their books, do some schoolwork. And then we got to go see more animals in nature. The sea lions were just an awesome experience. Seeing them up close, very personable, and really didn't have any imminent threats. snorkeling. We're all excited, of course. Can't wait to see what we're going to see. Swimming with the sea lions never gets old in their natural habitat. Some of you may wonder, what's the difference between a seal and a sea lion? Well, they are hmm. both pinnipeds, which means fin-footed in Latin. Seals are generally stubby front feet, thinly webbed flippers, actually with the claw on each small toe, seem petite in comparison to the mostly skin-covered, elongated foreflappers that sea lions possess. Secondly, sea lions have small flaps for outer ears. Third, the sea lions are noisy. Seals are quieter, vo vocalizing via soft grunts. What's going on, Henry? Yeah, sea lion. Sea lion. This is something you don't see every day, the great frigate bird. First described in 1789, it's a large seabird in the frigate bird family. Major nesting populations are in Galapagos, the Indian Oceans, and tiny population in South Atlantic. The female is usually larger than the adult male. The female has a white throat and breast, and the male's scapular feathers have a purple green sheen. In the breeding season, the male is able to distend his striking red gular sac and that is an area of a featherless skin on the bird that joins the lower part of the beak to the bird's neck the species feeds on fish taken in flight from the ocean's surface are able to walk on land by rotating their hind flippers forward and underneath their big bodies this is why they are most likely to be employed in aquaria and marine shows Finally, seals are less social than their sea lion cousins, which we definitely experienced. They spend more time in the water morning, than sea sunshine. lions do and often 
leads so solidarity lives in the wild, coming ashore together only once a year to meet and mate. Sea lions congregate in gregarious groups called herds or rafts that can reach upwards of 1,500 individuals. Blue-footed boobies, what a treat. First described in the 1880s, it's one of six species of the genus Sola known as boobies. It is easily recognizable by its distinctive blue feet. We were there during mating season, and the ritual is the male lifts up his wings up and down while strutting before the female. The female is slightly larger than the male, and they can have a wingspan up to five feet. Its diet mainly consists of fish that it gets by diving and searching underwater, and the blue-footed booby usually lays one to three eggs at a time. And you're fascinating too, little buddy. Yeah. You're very fascinating. They like the attention. We had been to the Charles Darwin Center to see some tortoises before, but we also got to see them again here in San Cristobal. The Galapagos tortoise can weigh up to 919 pounds. Tortoises did decline from over 250,000 in the 16th century to a low around 15,000 in the 1970s. This decline was caused by over-exploitation of the subspecies for meat and oil, habitat clearance for agriculture, and introduction of non-native animals to the island, such as rats, goats, and pigs. They're kept in cages so that the rats don't eat them. I believe that these small turtles are going to become massive turtles. Right, they can live up to 150 years old. Whoa. Lots of little guys. Moving to the water. Recess. And then when the turtles get even a little bigger, they go the next stage over here.